Hi, this video is about the paging section of the web data grid. For the benefit of time, we already have SQL Server data source, the customer table associated to the web data grid. For paging, we'll go to the edit behavior down here. Let me select that. You have the paging section here. The moment you select that, you can see we have the properties window down here. One of the easiest thing that you would see is the number of records per page. Let's change it to 5. The page index, which is the current page. So we'll set that to 3. Now, there is a one important thing that you would like to notice. If it was 0, it would obviously have the first page itself. So if you have 1, it will go to the second page. If you have 2, it will go to the sec third page and so on and so forth. So logically, if I have it at 3, it will show me the fourth page as the first default page when the grid loads. So that is pretty easy to understand. Let me just apply that, OK that. And you can see even on the design time, I'm seeing 4 as the selected page right now. Let me just fire it up and see how it works. So uh, here we have five rows, the fourth as selected. Let me just try changing the pages and all that. So we have a very nice functional uh, grid here. Let me just close it. Let me show you one, one more option. Now you would have seen the previous uh, grid was showing a lot of pages. Now if you don't want to do that, there is something called as quick pages. Now if you go to quick pages and let's say I want to set it at two, what this thing does, let me just apply that and show you how it, how it looks like. So you have two pages on both the sides of the grid. Let me fire it up and show you. So you can see I had set the quick pages as two. Now we don't have a very long list of all the pages visible. That is pretty bad UX if you have too many pages and your your entire page section shows you uh, you know the full of pages and all that. So this is a very nice option if you want to select that. So what we have done is we have selected two. So you can see I'm on fourth page right now and it shows me one, two and one, two on both the sides. So let me uh, go to six and you can see how it changes. If I'm on six, it shows me four and five and seven and eight on both the sides. And you have these to roll back two more pages. So if I click on here, it will always switch to two, two pages. So let me just close them and let me show you one more property. So I go to edit behavior. And there is one more thing called as the pager, pager appearance. So if I want to have it on top or if I want to have it on bottom or both. So let me just put it on both. Say apply and OK. And you can see I have paging on both the sides. Let me fire it up and show you how it works. So you can see I have paging on both the sides. I go to fifth page. I go to the sixth page and so on and so forth. We'll just close that right now and see what do we have next so just to reduce some space what i'll do is i'll just let it to be on the bottom side now one more very interesting thing i wanted to show you is these are all a page as numeric pages so if you want to have next and previous shown up what you can do is you can just click on next and previous i'll say okay on that and you have these arrows showing you next and previous now i'm not gonna run that what I'll do is I'll just do a couple of more changes. So if I have next and previous, you have this next page text. If I change that to next, so I just made it to next. And the previous text is here. So we'll just make it to previous. And that looks good. Let me just apply OK on that. And now you can see I have next and previous in place of those arrows. Let me just fire it up and show you how it looks like. So we have next and previous, I go next, I go next. Now, if you remember, we had set the page index to be the fourth page. So that's why we have the previous button already there. So if you have the first page itself, as in, uh, as in the, you know, we have the first page. So if I remove that, quick pages to zero, and uh, page index to zero, and I'll just leave the page size to five and apply OK on that and let me fire it up again and you can see this time I have only next so when I click on next it obviously started from the first page when I keep clicking on next on and previous you can see my pages are changing 
Now you would like to see next, previous, first, last kind of a thing. So let me just go to edit behavior. For that, what we have is we go to pager mode and change to next, previous, first, last. The moment you do that, you have the greater than, less than two times. If you want to change that, you can do that. Let me just make it to first and last. So that looks good. Let me just apply that and say OK. So let's fire it up and see how it works. And we have the next and the last. If I go to next, you have all four of them. I keep going next. If I reach at last, you can see if we have removed the next and the last. We have the first and previous. If I go back previous, if I go to first, you can see we maintain that very well. Let me just close it up. So the next thing I wanted to show you was go to edit behavior and go back to the pager mode. You can see we have one of the options called as numeric first last. Now what this thing does is if I apply that and you can see we have all the numbers and also the last. Now if you do that, there is one thing that will happen is let me just say OK and run it and show you what will happen. You will have all the pages and also the last. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, reconfigure that. And if you remember, we had a nice property called as quick pages. So I'll set that to be three, and say OK, and fire it up again. And this time you see we have the pages and the last. So if I go to the fourth page you have three pages on both the sides one two three one two three and obviously the last and the first so if I go to seven you can see I have these dots on both the sides I have the first I have the last and I have three on both the sides so this is a very nice way of showing you multiple options of paging let me close that up what we just saw was some basic paging and we have another video for the advanced paging Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.